around here, it's getting a little bit squirrely. <laughs> there you go, see, off the brakes, let the weight transfer. And then I just dab the accelerator again, and it just settles it down. Down a second for this little bit, and you can act, you can actually. <laughs> yes! Welcome back to another episode of Zero to Six. I'm excited. Hell yeah, today is gonna be pretty cool. It should be pretty cool, because we've got the, uh, the rotary out. Yeah, so we bought this car nearly six months ago um, and because it's not registered we haven't actually had a chance to use it apart from the occasional run up and down the road unfortunately with our really braking and a few other expenses getting this on the road just hasn't happened but this track day come up and basically it costs a similar amount to roll racing and we thought why not give it a run here and it's like a how would you describe it it's like a um, bit of a fun day skid pan slash track slash sprint but it it's like Jim Carner size. So we're not mm. on like a full massive racetrack. It's a very tight knit circuit. That's probably gonna be quite suited to the low power nippiness of the RX-8. However, we've got a few issues. We noticed that the clutch, it doesn't, it basically it bites as soon as you move the pedal off the floor. Now we did mention that when we first got the car, but we thought it was sort of okay. Um, that's a bit of a concern. And the handbrake was seized on because it's been parked up for a few months. I think that did come out, that come good though after, after getting it up to speed and stuff, but so still. We'll and the other thing is, this is all day. We've got eight hours here to see if we can break an RX-8. So will it make it through the day? Will it not? We'll see how it goes. Let's get it unloaded and you guys will see out on track in a second. Yes. Okay. Now before this was parked up, it was serviced and everything was all was all good fluid wise. Actually, I did actually check all that stuff yesterday as well before taking it for a run down the street. So it should be okay, but it's still an RX-8 with a rotary. So, fingers crossed. It's all good, we are on. Hell yeah, all right. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm just in the lineup now, ready to, uh, waiting to go out. As you can see, we've got Scott in his 19TN54. Upper, but it is a pretty short track. It's a pretty small track. It looks pretty slippery. The S2000 that was out, the first car that went out, uh, has spun around already. I'm just really interested to see how this buddy RX-8 goes on such a tight little nimble track. Um, we are still, obviously we've got the D5 gauge there, so we're still not at running temp yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it a hard time until, until she is at temp, but I will turn traction control off because we don't want to forget that. Um, that's it. it, looks like a pretty simple layout for this first track. So I think we've got two hours of this layout before changing it up a bit. So I better get my helmet on and um, yeah, see how the little RXA goes. been out for a few laps what are your what are your thoughts on the rx8 absolutely loving it i've got to say watching from the uh sidelines we have flames in fact we'll play a little clip now because it looks cool <laughs> and um now it's um this thing it raises and loses temperature so quickly just from being off track for a little bit so we'll um well actually you haven't seen the track yet so we'll drive around the track quickly and get some temperature into her oh okay this looks very different from up here it's quite off the camber isn't it oh god it's a much sharper corner than i realized and this is very wet concrete <laughs> right um yeah, and that's why it's uh I say it's a little bit tricky, but it's it's you know it's, it's quite fun. It is quite off camber when you're trying to go quickly. Okay, you were going faster than I realised. I thought this was all straight, <laughs> and I've, I've forgotten to do the old the old seatbelt trick, which I'll do around this corner. What he's talking about is he'll clamp himself in with a standard seatbelt, almost like a race harness, like that. And then I'm just gonna pull this chair forwards. That and that makes such a difference when you're in a road car. And I'll just flop around like the fat person I am. <laughs> 
All right, right Dave. So Ooh. talk us through what you're doing. Right, this first corner, there you go. It's pretty, you know, it, it is off camber and it is a completely blind corner. And it's essentially one long corner all the way down into this long, this long sweeper into this concrete skid pan section. Then you've got that awful, that awful bump there. You would have felt that, I take it? I felt it. Yes, yeah, so that just completely unsettles the car. But try get back on the power for that little bit and then you got that that little s chicane which is surprisingly tight like the rx8 it's actually a lot of fun doing it but imagine in something with a lot of power and you know something a bit bigger like these bmws it'd be a bit of a mission to get around i've got to say the max speedy rods don't feel terrible they're, they're actually doing all right hey and we'll see once we start all right we're nearly up to 80 degrees now it is climbing in temperature so we'll start going a little bit more revs oh my god and a little bit quicker okay i felt the weight transfer then and then here's that nasty little bump and then obviously you got the water being dragged over from the um from the bloody skip pan too so it's that is a sketchy bit of bit of thing there all right i want to hear it shift nicely dave come on yeah so many revs i love <laughs> revving this thing and then so you can grab third for a little bit jump on the brakes turn oh. it in and it's, it's a little bit sketchy, but then you back on the power through Jesus this water. Christ. I wash it, wash a bit more power <laughs> off before you hit this water, and then hell yeah, hey. dude, you got a dial. That's good. Oh, I'll give this uh, this CRX a little bit of space. I'm impressed. I gotta say, car feels way better than I thought it would. We're very snobby BMW people, <laughs> but this RX8 really does feel good. It, it's true. That is true because. Like, obviously, to drive around on the street, this isn't as comfortable as BMW, but you get out on the track and it is so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see a good lap. Oh, not enough revs. Shifting at 9,000. A little bit of fire. So back on the brakes a little bit, turn in. Yes. On the gas, try and balance it. Try and keep it smooth around here. It's getting a little bit squirrely. <laughs> there you go, see? Off the brakes, let the weight transfer. And then I just dab the accelerator again and it just settles it down. Down a second for this little bit. And you can act, you can actually. <laughs> yes! Yes! Woo! And this car, man, you can just do that so easy. <laughs> oh, I'll show you what I mean here. So. Oh, this is a nice corner. Uh, not quite enough power, but <laughs> there we go. Even the brakes feel good. <laughs> oh, you've definitely got to use the weight of the car to carry it around. That's it's really, really surprising in this thing. How much of a difference? I think you might be getting in trouble, David. Oh no. No, it's all right. I think we got. I think probably one more hot lap, or maybe maybe should we call it for that session? I'll do... Do another hot lap. That car's just gone off the track, so I'll, I'll try to do a quick one. All right. Actually, yeah, not... Try to do it fast, not not sliding. And you'll, you'll see the difference. So I'm going to stay in second gear in this time. Yep. And then, and then you can just get back, and it's just... It just controls it a bit smoother. That's... Oh, okay. It feels a lot faster. And then you can see you're higher in the revs. Bang! Nearly no, no slips there. Very nice. <laughs> All right, get in trouble. Yeah. All right. Are we going to do a few more laps? You're gonna, yeah, you're going to keep going, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, windows. Basically, um, <laughs> we were trying to have a bit of fun on camera there, but they've got issues with noise, so you can't slide, you can't drive the car to the point where the tyres screech, and unfortunately, the eight-year-old Chinese tyres that are on this car <laughs> don't have much grip. <laughs> All right, Dave, let's see what a smooth lap's like. All right, so we're staying nice and smooth this time. Won't induce any oversteer. So, round this corner, don't want any tyre squeal. Back on the gas and try and keep it smooth. I don't want tyre squeal. I'm going to wash off a bit of speed here. Back on the gas again. Very like nice. That. And then hard on the brakes into this. Down I'm, into second. I've got to ah. say, it's definitely not as, um, not as exciting. But the car just was very, very planted then. And it's so easy. You can go from, from this being no oversteer to, you know, being like a larrikin and, and inducing the oversteer so easily just with your right foot. Yes. But unlike the, you know, often the beamers and stuff, you do it prior to the corner. 
um, and it really makes the RX-8 feel really, really versatile, because obviously it doesn't have much power, it's not that quick, but you have so much fun on it, just by just that lift off overseer, lift off, let the weight transfer, turn the steering wheel, and away it goes. Oh, all right, that's probably enough for our session. Gotta let someone else have a go. Yeah. But all in all, so far the car feels good. However, we have got another three hours of this. Well, they, so will, they will change the track, and I just want to touch on, if you are, if you have an RX-8 and you're thinking about doing stuff like this, it's, even the temps aren't getting hot. Do, doing that anyway, and admittedly we weren't, you know, it's not a, it's not a proper racetrack, but. Yeah. I mean, all the cars that we have in our arsenal, we've got a couple of M cars, we've got M3s, M5s, we've got my 335, which is like, Full, very fast custom suspension very fast engine this is better at what we're doing today yeah, I, all of them yeah I I hate to admit it, I wouldn't want to bring any of the others for this no. I think this is more fun all right guys you'll see us in a, a little while and we'll give you an update on what's happening boom okay the day has progressed a little bit and now we're onto the skid pan which is actually what I was really looking forward to on this thing I wasn't sure because it's not overly quick I wasn't sure how much fun it would be on the dry parts but it should slide okay. So, I've got the camera there. Hopefully you can see through the window and what the skid pan looks like, where we're going, hopefully. Uh, and hopefully what's going on inside the car because it felt pretty lively in the dry. And by the way, it is raining now. But that's the skid pan. It's just one big circle or a big donut as they call it because it's, yeah, it is hollow. So I'll start the standard way going uh, around the roundabout and we'll see what happens. Speed up. Yeah, there's actually a fair bit of grip. A lot of grip. I'm gonna clutch it. Handbrake. There it is. <laughs> you can't see. Thank you. 
Pittsburgh, yeah, there's a bit of a cool down. <laughs> Could do with a harness though. Alright. Well that's drifting on a wet skip pan donut in an RXA for you. And it is a lot of fun. <laughs> to get sunburnt, which was good. Yeah, that crept up quick. I feel a bit like a castaway with the hat on. Um, thoughts on the car? Top, top fun, so much fun for such a little car and such a little amount of money, you know. Um, it's not quick by any means, but it is a lot of fun. It's only just, I don't know if you touched on it on the, the clips, but it's only just got enough power to slide on the skip out, like just. Yeah, I was really surprised just. at that. I've, I've never had a car where you can't just punch the throttle on the wet, flooded concrete and it just spins up. But yeah, the RX-8, you really had to yeah, initiate it. But the actual, the dry stuff, where the, the Gymkhana style driving, it looked awesome. The, the passenger ride I had was freaking sick. Yeah, I, I, I rate it. it. I rate it for the dry stuff. The and it makes flames. I when, I, when you showed me the footage of flames, I was like, yeah, it's sick. Because um, you can sort of hear it, but you don't know it's shooting fire. That's awesome. I did, I must say, Brought the car leak, which was a bit of a lifesaver because it did throw a check engine light. Yes, um, which needed to be cleared. Yep, so yeah, the car leak. Actually, just did cleared. you mention about the misfires? I didn't know, so. I've actually, I have got footage of it going pop, 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 pop. So towards the end of the day, it seemed there's something wrong with it. We don't know what it is yet, but yeah. Cleared the code with Carly and it would go again, but then it would be a bit shitty. Yeah. Yeah, that was the only hiccup. It was, uh, other than that, it was, it was all right. Pretty fun day. We are going to head off. All the other Beamer boys have left. We didn't bring a BMW today. It's kind of weird. It's very weird. But yeah, JB, Brad. And hopefully tomorrow we will have a video on Brad's single turbo one, no, 335. Yes. <laughs> one series on the brain. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, we've got heaps of updates coming. There's, I ended up ordering a lot more parts for the Vargas car. Um, I've got an update on my hail damage. Uh, it's just been a bit of a weird, crazy week, but we're getting there. And we'll see you in the next few days. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.